Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the battery in a Dell Latitude 7400 2-in-1 laptop. This pertains to the 2-in-1 model. There is a 7400 standard. Okay, first thing you're going to do, take the bottom off. Several screws. Go around the perimeter. Remove the screws, the Phillips screwdriver. Again, batteries are, uh, have been an issue with a lot of these new laptops. They have a tendency to bulge and don't work anymore. Okay, now you got to, once you undo the screws, you got to pry that. There's little plastic tabs all around the outside. You got to pry it away from the plastic tabs, being as careful as you can to not break the tabs. Sometimes that's difficult to do, and if, if you break it, no, tab, it doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so you pry them up, and you'll eventually get to a point where it'll pop right out. There you go. See, it pops right off. Okay, now, there's the battery. There are two batteries for this model. There's the what we call the smaller one, the, and then there's one that's a little larger that's got wings, almost got wings on it. The reason I mention this is if I recommend you replace it with this smaller 52-watt battery instead of the larger 70 somewhat if you use the 70 somewhat you have to remove the speakers i will show you that visually there's the larger battery you see it's got two wings on it right and left wing and those wings go, uh, would go underneath the speakers so you would have to remove the speakers in order to get that in if you have the smaller battery so that's the larger one's a 78 watt the smaller one's a 52 watt which is what we're going to use the 52 watt will fit in there without having to remove the speakers. But if you have that with the little wings, you see the wings off to the left and to the right. I'm calling them wings. Extra battery power is what it is. So if you want to install a heavy duty battery, you've got to be prepared to remove those speakers. There's a couple of screws and they're held in there with magnets. It's not too bad, but I, just be aware that there are two batteries for this model. If you buy that extra heavy duty, 78 watt hour battery um, you're going to need to do a little more assembly we are going to use the 52 watt standard battery and this procedure is is somewhat simpler now your battery doesn't last as long but it's uh, somewhat similar um, so when you are using the smaller battery like we did it doesn't stick out so you don't have to remove the speaker so all you have to do is go around the perimeter of the battery and remove the screws that are holding the battery into the assembly. So it's held in by those several screws. Now once you've removed the screws there's a connector to the motherboard. Grab onto that and disconnect it. And now you've got the battery in a position where it can be removed. You have to, on the one end, there's the antenna wire is kind of around the, uh, the base there. You just got to be careful and kind of fish it out of there. You can see what we're doing. It's just run around the base. It's taped on usually. So if you untape it and then fish the battery out of there, being real careful not to disconnect the antenna. Um, okay. Now, again, we didn't remove the speakers because we're not using the big battery. We're using a standard battery. And the reassembling, putting a new battery in, just reverse the process. Fish that one tab under that wire that's for the Wi-Fi antenna. Make sure it's seated in there nice and properly. And then you can kind of fish that wire down so that it's not in the way. Kind of push it down between the speaker and the battery. Your tape should probably have a little adhesive left on it, so if you push it down, it'll stay secure long enough for you to put close the cover. It's held in by the back cover. Now, once you've got the battery located on its screw boss tabs, go around and assemble the screws that you just took out. We're having to change a lot of these batteries. They have a tendency to mushroom 
lithium-ion batteries, uh, after a couple of years, they pretty much all go bad. Can't wait to have one in my electric car. Okay, now, plug it back into the motherboard. And you've got the new battery in. Now, all you have to do, uh, a little trick here are those tabs. We usually, you notice, we slide it into the bottom and so that it slips into the tab openings and then snap it at the top. And they, it'll snap into place. Little plastic tabs which help the assembly, or help it hold it together. Now, as soon as you've got it snapped down uh, snug against the frame, you can go around and... Um, Reset the screws, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you like this uh, video, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel, and you can see new tips and tricks that we put out. We put them out from time to time. We have a large eBay store where we sell used laptop equipment on eBay. Visit us at uh, username skis3535. And... They were complete in the assembly. This 7400 2 in ones a really nice laptop, and now it's got a brand new battery and good to go. Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.